she's bound And the kit is all garnished with body lassies around Captain Tom's and gives the orders to sail the ocean wide Well the sun it never sets, my lads, no darkness dims the sky And it's cheered up, my lads, let your hearts never fail While the bonny ship the dying goes a-fishing for the wind Barlua are, we call ourselves a folk band. We do Scots and Gaelic songs, which are tend to be very traditional songs, but we kind of treat them in a contemporary way. We're all in fourth year now at the Conservatoire uh, on the BA Scottish Music course. And um, we're lucky enough to have made um, our first album on the Conservatoire and Nimbus Alliance label. Obviously, we'd been in the studio a few times with Bob but you never got a chance to really experience what it's like, you know, to make an album. So what an amazing experience um, to go in and, and do that you know, professionally. It's fantastic. I mean, it's uh, our first album, so we had quite a lot to learn, you know, and we were very, very lucky that we had the fantastic facilities here to make, to make this recording and also just to get a chance to work with some great people. You learn so much from it and Bob as well is so good to work with, uh, the sound engineer. He is a lot of fun, but the good thing about Bob is he tells you what he thinks. You know, if it's rubbish, you're like, yeah, that was rubbish, <laughs> do it again. Bob's been great actually, he's been very patient. When we first started recording things, we kind of had that, they call it red light fever, where you see the recording light on and you kind of panic a bit. Um, but he's been great and the more that we've been recording, the better we've, we're getting at it. We've been fortunate enough to take a lot of inspiration from a lot of people, especially our tutors, um, who provide us with material, different ideas and just the opportunities to perform. Today we're um, concentrating on a track called The Diamond. It's quite a well-known Scots song, so we're trying to mix it up and do something a little bit different with it instrumentally. So usually we just start off kind of accompaniment, piano and bouzouki and we do a guide vocal track with that and uh, then we add on fiddle, whistles, um, probably we do bouzouki and then I'll do my, uh, my final vocal part on it. It's just, it sounds, the sound's bigger. So that's one of the beauties about recording. We took a couple of takes then kind of looked over some of the bits, made sure that certain parts of it were together and then we then we recorded Alistair on the piano for his final sort of take if you like over over that sort of guide track and then we added my bazooki and later on the Ainsley came into the studio and she put down some uh, some vocal lines and uh, we made sort of a final take on that and then after uh, well later on today we'll be putting on some uh, fiddle. Without the, the Nimbus Alliance we won't we wouldn't have had a, a first album you know it costs a lot of money to do that on your own and for three weeks studio time the amount of money that would be is just unthinkable so to get such a good sound engineer such um you know a good space to work in uh, and working with people you enjoy working with the whole thing's you know invaluable it was such a good experience <laughs>